Okay, we're going to test some off-the-shelf def. I bought it 21 months ago. At the time I bought it, it was already 12 months old. I did not realize that till I got home and researched how to read the born on date. And once I found out it was already 12 months old, I just put it away. This was bought at the Lowe's. It was the last one on a skid. That's my bad for buying it. But to further test them and to see where it was, this floating meter We'll do this in, uh, we'll check this in some water right now. Now this was like $20. I had a special order of this from Napa. They never had any in stock. This was down in Florida, and I think this piece of junk was $20. It showed the def to be bad. And you can read the chart here. Floating, zero, is less than 29%. Urea, one is 30. This is specifically made for def. What we're looking for is two discs floating. That's a perfect 32.5%. Anything more or less is no good. One floating is 30%. Two weak, three floating is 35%, making it too strong. And this is pure water. So we have all three sinking, zero floating. Stands to reason it's pure water. It's pure tap water. So we have less than 29% urea. Now we're going to flush it out. We're going to read the 21-month-old depth, and then we'll read a new one off the shelf, which was made in April of this year. The next one we check will be just five months old. It should be good. And then we'll check it with the refractometer. I thought the refractometers were expensive. They're not. They're not much more than this piece of junk here. So this was opened up several months ago and checked and then capped up tight. You have to wait till the bulb gets gets relaxed otherwise it's got upward pressure on it all the time so we have two sinking and one floating so this is showing this is clearly showing the def is 30 percent urea we'll do it again so what we're looking for are two discs floating we still have upward pressure Make sure the bulb is still pulling up on it because it will make a huge difference. I'll show you what I mean. When I just barely squeeze this, watch the disc as you squeeze the bulb. Very little upward current from that def and it's making that second one float, even the third one. Okay, let's go back to the test. Clearly, one floating strongly, two are sinking. So we're at 30%. Now let's check it with the refractometer and see where we are. Okay, here's the refractometer I bought. This thing was $20 or less on Amazon. Even comes with a screwdriver, tells you how to adjust it. I think they're all about the same. But I had really good luck with this. It's so, it's very accurate too. And it comes with two of these, which I need to get some more of these. The first thing we're gonna do is just put a drop of water on it. to just put some water on it like that and then mash this down on it and you can see it clearly just engulfs that whole part where the prism sees it what you're seeing now is that all blue area and that little clear white at the bottom that shows there's zero urea in this uh, test which is which is right which is very accurate because we just put tap water in it now we're going to check the depth and a lot of that blue is going to go away Alrighty, now we'll get the def in it. First, we've got to clean it off. Okay, you see what pure water looks like. Get the water out of the way. Let's clean this guy off. And this takes no batteries. That's what I really like about this thing. It's just, in a, and I carry it in the RV with me. Or you can carry it in the truck with you. Easy to clean. It wouldn't take much to contaminate it. And then just wipe this off. Okay, we'll take the other. That one there had water in it. I'm going to not use it. We'll use another one. Okay, I'm kind of anxious to see how this tests. I'm putting more than a couple drops on it. And once you drop that, you'll see how it just fills that up. That's what we're looking for. It is still testing good according to the refractometer, but for some reason I'm afraid to use it. Let's see if we can see it here. I don't know if you can read the digits or not, but that's what it looks like. See how much of the, uh, it's got an eye cup on it, it's kind of holding me away from it. But the white part, we're looking at the line that's going from white to blue. 
and I don't know how this is focusing for you, but it's right on. It's just a hair above 32.5%. I mean, for all practical purposes, this 21 month old deaf should burn just fine in my truck. Okay, now we're going to go to the five month old deaf. We're going to check this with the floating disc too. So that had one floating at 30%. The refractometer showed actually between 32 and a half and 33. It's that precise. Okay, I did shake these up a little bit. And we're looking for a perfect two floating. And this is okay. Now I still have some up current because the bulb is not the bulb is not fully expanded, and any up current at all is going to alter that test. Okay, this is what I ran into when I ordered this and tested my first def. They both tested bad. That's when I went to Amazon and ordered that refractometer, and we'll never look back. This is going into trash. Matter of fact, as soon as we're done here, so I've got one floating. Now let's do the real test. Went ahead and wiped this off off camera. I do this a few times. Make sure you're getting the product you want to test. So let's pull it up. Three little dabs. Okay, let's take a reading on five month old deaf. It is exactly where the 21 month old deaf is. Guys, if the numbers don't focus for you, that line is between 32 and a half and 33%. I'm trying to hold it in different positions looking at the screen. So it's testing the same. That's impressive. This is the only way to go. Forget about all the other tests. From all indications, that should be good. If we dilute this out with a little bit of water, Matter of fact, let's try that right now. Okay, this one here has water in it. Let's just try a little bit of dilution. Oh, that's probably too much, but... Oh, that's pretty cool. We put a little water in there. Check that out. I hope that shows up. It's right at 30%. 30%. So just a little bit of water in there. Of course, actually, it ain't a little bit compared if you consider the scale of it. But still, it... It's going in the right direction. That's less urea. It's right at 30%. What it amounts to, if you can't trust the refractometer, what can you trust? I'm sure there's more sophisticated and very expensive laboratory testing equipment. But what we don't know is the quality sensor in the trucks, whether it's a Duramax or the Pyre Stroke or the Cummins. I have the Cummins. We don't know how sensitive that sensor is in that. You know, I got a feeling it's just not that precise. I don't know if over... 35% def would trigger it, or less than 30%. If anybody knows, please put it in the comment sections, because that's good information. But this comes with a pretty neat kit, and I'm going to buy a bunch of these. These should be cheap. Meanwhile, I just go ahead and rinse them out. Well, I hope this helps somebody. It's interesting. Uh, both these tests were blue def platinum. Well, thanks for watching. Travel safe out there. Have a good one.